Don't go out to hunt, my general. That woman, the accountant, is a nun. That woman wants to get the devil out of me. But you know, I have nothing inside. Ha! <laughs> and neither do I. <laughs> we are both creatures of the night. And the night is made just for thieves like you, sir. Mm. I liked killing. And you always like to steal. No, I liked killing as well. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Ready Speaker. I am your host, Roland Urucci. My little mic here, which actually looks larger than it is. And I am going to be reviewing another film today, El Conde. It's on Netflix, I believe uh, bought by Netflix. Not quite sure how it's distributed. But it's a nice little film that I think is a worthwhile watch, especially for you cinephiles who like different kinds of directors. And uh, I will uh, talk about that in a moment. You saw a clip just a moment ago. So it has an interesting vibe, black and white. Uh, it's, let's see, the summary is, after living 250 years in this world, Augusto Pinochet, who is not dead, but an aged, aged vampire, decides to die once and for all. There you go. So it's a film with commentary. Uh, kind of a mouthful. Uh, if anybody knows about the Pinochet regime, regime he was pretty brutal. And he, uh, I guess, French name, so French background. And uh, really, really like awful stuff that happened in the, in, in the country and, and him as ruler. So some people might disagree with me, but, you know, history has a way of finding its own way out. And you can, you can find all that information online or anything. So kind of crazy. So written by uh, writers Guillermo Calderon and Pablo Reyn, who's also the director. Stars uh, you know, Jamie Vadell or Yami. Amy Vadel, Gloria Munchmeyer, Alfredo Castro. Uh, so, how do we really feel about this movie? I'll tell you, if you love Wes Anderson movies, this is an amazing Wes Anderson type of film. Uh, there's a lot of voiceover. Uh, there's English, French, and Spanish in this film. I watched it uh, overdubbed uh, just because I, there was a lot of subtitles going on anyway, and there's multiple languages, and some of it was in English, so I didn't really need to see that back and forth. Uh, all in black and white. It's, it's a little bit different, the, the faces and everything, how it works, and the sort of the CGI and effects. Uh, very storytelling-like. I know everything about film and storytelling, but this is very much, like I said, a Wes Anderson sort of thing. Very, very storytelling. So you have also pa uh, Paula Lusinger. Uh, she plays uh, Carmencita. Uh, and she goes to stay with uh, Pinochet, and they have Pinochet's children, and everybody here knows he's a vampire. That's actually the interesting thing. So everybody knows that he's a vampire, and he I think he eats hearts, and that's like the big thing. And they freeze hearts, and he's been around for a long time, and he made his man serve in the vampire, and he freezes hearts. And there's all this talk of, of, about what he does, and, and it's really the kids being not vampires. He wouldn't turn anybody in his family into a vampire. Uh, the, the kids won his wealth and, and the power that they had that he lost. So he, he faked his death and he, he got out of the limelight so that he didn't have or he wouldn't give them the money they thought they, they should have inherited. So there's a lot of commentary, like I said, a lot of subset here, uh, uh, subtext, subset, subtext. So it's, it's a film against fascism and they're showing them doing like an Il Duce uh, Nazi sort of like, uh, uh, you know, a uh, salute to him. Uh, there's uh, a lot of talk about how power corrupts, how they're just like, you know, you know essentially they're eating people. Uh, there is a play with other politics here. I'm not going to do any uh, spoilers, but it's kind of interesting. So, so look at it. Uh, it's a compelling film. Now, is it the, pro the, the flashiest or most polished film? I don't think it needs to be. I think that's intentional. That it's not very polished. That it's not very flashy. And shooting in black and white probably made it very easy to shoot. Uh, love the set. The, the, the set where they, they filmed this, the location. A great old town, not quite sure where it was, but a really, really interesting, gave a lot of character to it. Uh, there were some you know, points I really didn't get, but that's okay, that's just, it's very theatrical, and it's commentary. So when the film is commentary, the, the message sometimes just is more important than, than the look of, of scene or, or the angle of a shot. But, but overall, Solid, solid film. Uh, great, great performances by uh, Paula uh, Lusinger as, as Carmencita. I thought it was very interesting. She's a very unique look, a uh, very interesting look. I, I don't know if any of these characters would even be in an American film. Uh, they, they just have this this weight of what they're bringing to the roles that uh, I think is, is really, really enjoyable. You have uh, Catalina Guerra 
as Luciana, Antonio, Antonia Zegers as Yacinta, Amparo Nuguera as Mercedes, Stella Gonet as Margaret, uh, you have Diego Munoz as Manuel, you have a lot of people in this, and actually that's the interesting thing about Latin America, especially Chile and Argentina, that they have such a mix of peoples and names, uh, very, very diverse uh, European stock in, into those areas. And, uh, and then these, this cast sort of shows that uh, to, a, to a great extent. And, and you have, like I said, you have him as a vampire, which is, it's, it's, just, it's almost comical, the, the way they do some of the, some of the things. And it's, it's meant, I think, to, to make fun of the, this powerful person, uh, to show him as, as a ludicrous fairy tale, an evil, evil fairy tale in the history of the country. So, yeah, that, I, I, think, I think that's sort of how it plays for me, especially with the voiceover. Uh, very again, very Wes Anderson, uh, very storyteller like, very fable like, very mythology, uh, but trying to get a message across. And that's what all myths and fables do. They try and get a message across. So I think that's that's a smart way to tell this kind of story. Uh, I I really enjoyed it. I, I got pulled in. It wasn't something I expected to like. It something just came up and I just started watching, and it was worth it. I stayed to finish it. I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about some of the shots and some of the moments. I think it's kind of funny. It made me chuckle a little bit, and it made me think a little bit uh, about the art. Maybe not the commentary on the fascism. I don't appreciate fascists. But definitely on the art of filmmaking, it made me think about that. So I think it's the kind of film that will still make you think about something, regardless if you don't think about the style, regardless of, of your POV, uh, of what you're going to look for. It could be the style of filmmaking, the style of acting, uh, the characters, uh, expressions, peoples, politics, uh, the, the fable of Dracula and vampires, if you're going in for that. So it has a little bit of everything that makes everyone think along the path of this story. So it, it's worth a watch. It's definitely worth a watch. So I, I'd watch it. It's on Netflix right now. Like I said, it probably will be on there forever or whatever or, or some other streaming service at some point. But a really, really fun film. Uh, give it a shot. Subscribe. Like. Uh, mentioned this earlier. I'm on Letterboxd as well. Giving short reviews. And coming back and forth to YouTube with that. If you want to uh, talk about a film, hit me up. You know, make make a comment and say, "Hey, I'd love to be a guest on your show. I'd love to have a guest. I'd love to talk about a film. Maybe revisit a film. You know, and, and talk about it." And I, I find when I talk about films, I uh, discover more things when I'm speaking to somebody else. So uh, help me out here. Help me out, please. Come on, let's do something together. All right. Thank you, everybody. Again, like, subscribe, share, chat soon. Goodbye. Ready speaker, Roland.